Foreign admission into the Oxford University is one dream many young persons pursue. And many, for many young, for many adults, the prestige that comes with being a member of its alumni is a lifelong wish. But finding a six-year-old who has finished with distinctions in philosophy and history from one of the leading universities in the world surely testifies to brilliance and the capacity for a genius. And that's the story of Joshua Beckford. Ola Awakon had a one-on-one, -on -one, one to one with a youngster after a mentoring session in Lagos. Meeting Joshua Beckford at an event is not enough to unravel the amazing story around this young child. I've come all the way to have a one to one with him and his father. He is listed among the top 30 most remarkable people in the world with autism who are making a difference in their society. Still trying to find um, information about myself and where I came from. Still trying to find out, but yeah, I'm, I'm still a kid and I'm still learning. My dad took me in as a baby. Joshua Beckford was abandoned 48 hours <laughs> after his birth in London. He was adopted by Nurse Daniel and his wife. At 10 months, he started identifying numbers and letters. He mastered reading fluently using phonics by the time he was two. He showed me all the keys on the keyboard and all the numbers on um, the fridge because we used to have numbers on the fridge. And um, after some days, I could identify every key on the keyboard and numbers up to 10. He has a photographic type of memory. Then I read to him every night, bedtime story. My wife took turns reading to him and he got so used to the stories that we had to do it. So we would get upset if we didn't read him a bedtime story. At age six, it was discovered that he had autism. He believes his ability for outstanding achievement at his age is traceable to this condition. In my case, I have high end autism, which um, allows me to have sort of superpowers. So um, my dad never focused on the weaknesses that I have. He always focused on the strengths that I had. Autistic people can make incredible contributions to the world. So a lot of scientists, doctors, mathematicians, computer programmers are on the autistic spectrum. So they have a part of the brain that gives them advantages and that's what makes them excel. How was it possible for him to complete a course at Oxford University when he was only aged six? And this Oxford tutor um, spoke to my dad and um, they said, you know, we could sign um, your child up for this online learning platform um, um, to do philosophy, to study on philosophy and um, history, to um, study on the Great Plague in 1665. So I studied for a year and um, I got five distinctions, one in each. Ulokomni Joshua Beckford. Master Beckford is a master of languages. His hobbies are mouth watering. I, um, when I was younger, I started practicing Japanese and Mandarin and also um, learned a bit of French. He played 15 different sports. Um, so I do golf, cricket, baseball, table tennis, tennis, football, basketball, um, uh, tai chi, yoga, swimming, trampolining, running. A lot. There's a lot. Tafan community in Kaduna State has more than 350 children who have missed school since 2011 due to the Southern Kaduna clashes. Fortune is about to smile on these unfortunate children as plans have begun for blocks of classrooms to be erected in the community. Neither by a politician, philanthropist, nor public office holder, but by one of their age. Joshua Beckford. His decision to build a school in Kafan community in Kaduna State is born out of his passion to see that no child is deprived of quality education. I'm currently fundraising to build a school in Kaduna State in the Safan village for low-income families that can't afford to go to send their children to school. 
So uh, we, we have to raise enough funds to build the school, but they've already started to clear the land and make some bricks and um, the elders of the community have already agreed to donate the land. This initiative with uh, Beeman and uh, Joshua Beckford, I think for us in Kaduna it's, it's a great opportunity to expose our youths who hit us with think that uh, there are challenges that they cannot surmount. His first visit to Nigeria from the UK is to kickstart the building of a school that will be named after him and to unveil his book Beyond Limits. He is also working on a children's book about Egypt. Having read about this outstanding child, my first encounter with him was at this event in Lagos organized by Boys Mentoring Advocacy Network. But it is a visit that is forever a, a landmark in the history of our country. Another award to his credits. Being their first time in Nigeria, Master Beckford and Mr. Daniel have positive impressions about the country. In Nigeria, people are polite, and um, because seeming that there are no traffic lights, um, people still manage to get through the roads. We hear stories, you know, of you know people saying, "Oh, Nigerians are very loud and aggressive," and and so on. I mean, our experience was the complete opposite. With global recognition spanning more than 120 countries and having won many awards, his dream is to become a neurosurgeon. He is the youngest ever to perform complex surgeries on a surgery simulator. Joshua's personal example has remained an abiding inspiration for young persons around the world and should do no less in Nigeria, which has a teeming youth and teenage population with the unenviable record of the highest out of school in the world. Ola Awakon, really nice TV7.